Hey guys, it's time we finally talk about this. The BB Firefly, which is potentially my favorite battle song trainer I've ever tried, and there's a few reasons for this. We're gonna start at the top and start with the blade. The bottle opener, obviously the one I have at least, there's three different blade models. As far as I know, they all have about the same balance. It's just a matter of which style you like and if you want the bottle opener or not. Originally, I wasn't a super huge fan of this particular blade shape, but it's kind of grown on me and I kind of really like it now. But the blade, I believe, is 410 steel and it's also a very thick blade, so I really can't imagine that it's going to bend at all. I mean, I've dropped it pretty hard onto solid concrete and it's still perfectly straight, which is really good. It runs on tang pins, which might be a big turnoff for some people, but I personally don't mind them. The one issue I have with these tang pins in particular is that they come almost completely flush up to the handles, meaning you will get pinched quite a bit when you first start flipping it. Eventually you get used to it and you don't quite get pinched anymore. But especially when you first start flipping it, if you're not used to the tang pins being there, you might get snagged here and there. Moving on to the handles, they are 6061 aluminum, which is fairly standard for this price range. And this is where things start to get really interesting for this knife. Because these handles are absolutely massive. They're actually some of the biggest handles I've felt on a Balasong trainer. They don't measure that much bigger than anything else, but they just feel bigger. I don't know if there's a really good way to describe it. And that's part of why I like it so much. I'll get into that a little more in the flipping portion, but it feels big for sure. And the handle gap is something that I can completely understand if you don't like. Even when closed, it still has quite a big handle gap. And it's something that I didn't like at first, but it had kind of grown on me. And now I actually really like the handle gap. One of the amazing things about the Firefly's handles is the hole patterns. These holes up here do a great job at providing grip for things like rollovers. And this big streak down the side that isn't quite a hole, it's more of just a divot, does surprisingly a lot when it comes to grips and transferring tricks down to underhand stuff. With the texture being very distinct and different from the top to the bottom, the top being the holes and the bottom being the straight line cut, it's very easy to know where you are on this battle song, which is great for training purposes because it's easy to keep track of how your hands move as you learn new tricks. The handles are very heavily tapered, which is a little interesting. Once you get up towards the top here, it starts to feel more flat than anything else, which I think for tricks like twirls, where you're kind of up in that area, spinning it around your fingers, I think it feels really cool. It's definitely something you're gonna have to get used to, but I honestly really like the feeling of it. Standard T10 screws, which is great to see. I absolutely hate T8, it's ugh. And I'll talk about the price and the availability and if it's worth it later on, but I think for what you're paying, this has some of my favorite texturing and cutouts out of any Balasong in general, not even just trainers. I really like that it's easy to find your grip and find where you are on the handles at all times. The tapering is super nice, it feels great to flip with. Overall, there's a lot of design choices that aren't traditionally good, and I'll talk about that especially in this next section. But from a design standpoint, I just really like it. The anodizing colors they give you are beautiful. This is one of the nicest blues I've ever seen on a Balasong. And on top of that, the hole pattern offers this nice dual tone aesthetic with the line down the front and also all the holes having a chamfering in them. And with BB Barfly, you can pick any handle colors you want. You can mismatch handles, you can do two of the same. They're really good with their availability and I love that about them. But looks are a subjective thing and I personally really like it, but if you don't, I completely understand. But you know what's also a subjective thing? Flipping. This thing flips weird. If you are used to something like a squid trainer or a crackerakin, which is very, very neutral, very, very standard, and very, just a generally all around good flipping experience, you might not like this. This thing is handle heavy, we'll say that first of all. It can fan and do everything beautifully, but it's definitely noticeable. It's got some weight in the butt end. And speaking of weight in the butt end, the way the handles are tapered on top of just the way the blade is shaped, most of the weight is moved towards the end. It's moved towards the tip of the blade, the bottom of the handles. 
that gives this thing some sort of magic momentum that just carries it and it just keeps going. I personally really, really like it, but if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. It's kind of hard to judge unless you try one because it is so weird and so out there. But flipping wise, the main thing I could describe this as is just straight up fun. The tapered handles are great to flip with. Like I mentioned, they do things like twirls beautifully. They're a little weird on rollovers because you have a little bit less material to grab onto, but once you get used to it, it's honestly perfectly fine. Flipping wise, the handle gap was a little rough at first. I found myself when I was doing like ice pick aerials and stuff, I wasn't quite catching it all the way closed. But of course, it's just something you get used to. You just gotta learn to open your hand a little wider. It's honestly not that heavy at 4.6 ounces, I believe, which is a very, very standard weight. I believe that's the same weight as things like a squid trainer. But the weight is distributed in such a different way than most other knives that it's a completely different flipping experience. Over time, I found myself liking a lot of different things out of Balasongs, and I like two things. I like Balasongs that are very thin and very light, like the Marin Light I have here, which is my favorite Balasong I have ever used. But then I also like stuff that's very unique and makes a statement when you flip it. And the BB Firefly does exactly that. It is like nothing I've ever flipped before. And it is just so much fun and so unique that I find myself having trouble putting it down once I start flipping it. And I think that's something that goes undervalued in a lot of Bala songs is a lot of people just try to get the best standard flipping experience and that's it. I think you need to have at least one Bala song in your collection that's just Really weird, but really, really fun. The Firefly is beautifully rounded. There's not a single sharp corner on it. So I found myself flipping this for a long time without much fatigue. Even the back of the blade is chamfered, crowned. I don't remember which one it is. It's not perfectly rounded, but it has the edges kind of sloped off. Just the combination of the big handle shape with a nice taper, but still with great hole patterns means this thing is just the right amount of grippy, but still flowy and fun. And it just feels great. I don't really know how to describe it other than it just is super unique, but it feels so good. I think when it comes to interesting and weird ballad songs, I think this one definitely does it the best. All of these things are there to improve the flipping. These hole patterns make flipping so much better. The tapering on the handles and the weight distribution are amazing for flipping. First and foremost, this is an amazing flipper. It's just a weird flipper. The tolerances on it are great because it does run on bushings. It's got a little bit of play. They're not the tightest things in the world, but mine doesn't have any tap to it. And especially if I keep it tight and I keep it lubed, the swing is beautiful and it flips amazing. I really just can't stress enough how weird this thing is, but I also can't stress enough how fun it is. When I brought it over to Ethan's house, he actually flipped it for basically the entire time I was there because he agrees that it is one of the most fun and interesting ballad songs we've ever tried. So is it worth it? You know, a weird ballad song that not everyone is gonna like for 160 all the way up to 180 bucks if you get a different trainer blade and mismatched handles. Yes. Absolutely, because there's not much else like this. There's so many ballast songs that are good, standard, overall, good all around flippers, but there's not many ballast songs that when I flip, I genuinely have a smile on my face because of how fun and weird it is. But the Firefly nails that perfectly while still having all of the qualities of a good flipper, just in a more fun and interesting format. The Firefly doesn't sacrifice anything in the flipping department in order to fit that weird and interesting Balasong style. Bushings, good tolerances, good hole patterns and cutouts, just great overall machining and thought went into the Firefly and I think it really shows. For the price you're paying, I would definitely recommend trying one before you go ahead and purchase one, but if you can manage to try one, borrow one from a friend or just try one in someone else's collection and you end up liking it, I 100% would vouch for one of these. The way the handles are shaped and how bulky they are means that this thing is an absolute tank. And I have thrown this thing onto concrete pretty damn hard and it has barely taken any beating at all. The anodization has started to chip off just a little bit, but other than that, there's no major dings or dents at all. I think the Firefly is probably the weirdest ballast song I've ever tried. However, it is by far my favorite trainer. At the end of the day, Flipping is about having fun, and if you don't have a knife that speaks to you and makes you want to pick it up and have fun with it, then I think you're doing something kind of wrong. Overall, I think the BB Firefly is a great, great purchase for the money as long as you know you like it. 
it's one of those things where it's like, I either really, really like this or I really, really don't like this. I personally really, really like it and I think a lot of people will as well. It's just a matter of trying one and getting your hands on it. BB Barfly is an amazing company. I believe most of their stuff is made to order. So anything you can think of, any special request, they will give to you. The one thing I think this battle song really, really missed out on is this is entirely flat. I really would have liked to see some jimping on there. Having jimping on this battle song would make it easily one of the grippiest trainers I've ever tried and it would be absolutely phenomenal. But overall, the Firefly is my favorite battle song trainer, not because it's the best conventionally good flipper. It's an amazing flipper. I wouldn't call it the best in the world, but it's definitely the most fun in my opinion. And when it comes to trainers, that's more valuable for me than anything. I really like this thing, and if you're a person who prefers more fun and interesting ballad songs over the standard and normal flipping experience, I definitely would recommend one. Thank you so much for watching. I have a bunch more videos coming soon. Next video will be the complete Kershaw Lucha review featuring the stock handles and also both Flytanium handles. Then after that, I'll have to review my dear Marin Light. So stay tuned for both of those reviews as I feel like those will be some of my best work so far. Thank you so much for watching. Keep in touch, and I'll see you guys later.